My name is Wai Tong Chi, Professor in Mental Health Nursing at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Our mental health research team is very keen to design and implement high quality mental health promotion program and research pro projects to enhance the individual, familial and social mental health care service in Asia countries. One of the focus areas of research by our team is about the treatment and care of people with schizophrenia and its spectrum disorders. Schizophrenia is a chronic remitting and destructive disorder associated with significant abnormality and the progressive deterioration of a wide variety of cognitive, psychosocial, vocational and behavioral functioning. Before the design of any effective interventions for this illness group, we need to understand the current information about the illness and its treatment approaches. Therefore, this review paper aims to provide a more in-depth and focused understanding of the effects and benefits of current approach to treatments for schizophrenia. With a comprehensive and critical review of the relevant literature on schizophrenic care over the past three decades, we summarized the efficacy, safety, and tolerabilities of current pharmacological and other medical treatments for these patients. We had also examined and compared the current approaches to treatments across different stages of schizophrenia, and then recommend the future direction of treatments for this illness in this review. To conclude the research evidence on first and second generation antipsychotics, they are found to be similar and robust in treatment advocacy among acute and sometimes chronic schizophrenia, particularly against positive symptoms. Their efficacy varies according to the stage of the illness. People with first, first episode schizophrenia can respond faster and better to antipsychotics than those at later stages of the illness. On the other hand, neither is effective in reducing negative symptoms, and they can even worsen them associated with extra pyramidal side effects. Their efficacy on cognitive and social functioning, as well as other longer term effects such as mortality and quality of life, are inconsistent. However, FGAs are relatively low cost treatment and commonly used medication, while a few trials indicate the superiority of individual second generation agents over the FGAs in specific illness condition or patient outcomes, and less problematic in terms of sedative and neurological effects. For people with treatment resistance in chronic schizophrenia, very limited evidence has been shown to confirm whether a particular antipsychotic medication and the combined use with other psychotropic drugs could be efficacious and or superior to other treatment modalities. Nevertheless, psychosocial interventions together with pharmacological treatment are recommended to be the most effective strategies in the treatment and rehabilitation. Double injections have also been used extensively for controlling treatment noncompliance and long-term maintenance therapy. It is also suggested in the recent literature that treatment strategies and objectives for patients should be targeted at different stages of the illness. These treatment strategies range from prophylactic antipsychotics and cognitive behavioral therapy in the pneumatic stage to various psychosocial interventions in adjunct to antipsychotics for relapse prevention and rehabilitation in later stage of the illness. In the later part of this review, a critical discussion had been made on such a variety of strategies used in schizophrenic treatments. This review also highlighted the recommendations for a recent practice guideline that a combination of treatment modalities should be adopted to meet the complex health needs of people with schizophrenia and be effective in improving recovery. Population-based prevention assessment is crucial to accurately selecting at-risk persons and matching them to the most appropriate preventive treatment. We highly recommend more research in the clinical efficacy of different existing and new models of psychosocial interventions, together with effective and safe medication, in order to ascertain a treatment approach for people with schizophrenia with the highest possible levels of efficacy, safety, and acceptability to the clients.